five dimension of power. Power is very important because it makes things happen. Power is the ability to convert energy in a given time to make things happen. Jesus, before he sent his disciples to have dominion, Basically, you send them to have dominion, but you send them to preach the gospel of the kingdom. He said, before you go, you need power. Why? Because he knew there will be contention wherever they will go. For you to make nations, to, to, for you to make disciples of nations, you must control and bind a strong man behind that nation. So that's why he gave them power. Not only to be witness in Jerusalem, in your home area, Samaria, and I'm up to the end of the world, power so was very important. Praise the Lord Jesus. So power, all of us, we need power to make things happen. Even for marriage to happen, you need power. Are you hearing me? Uh-huh. Marriage, for men don't just leave women anyhow. Something must have happened in the spiritual realm. We don't just lose business. Things don't just happen. Every things you see in the physical it has already first happened in the spiritual. Mm? So physical is a manifestation of the serious work in the world. There's a place of power. So that's why it's important for us to understand power and authority. President of Jesus. So to mention the first dimension of power is the power over. Power to dominate. To control and to command things to happen. When you become born again, there's power and authority over you in your hand authority to have dominion, have control, and command things. Luke 10, 19 says that. Say, Behold, I've given you authority to trample over certain scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. God will not cast for you devils. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That sounds strange, yeah? Because the power, the authority has already been transferred to you. It is you to exercise your authority. You be seated here. There are things you are crying for God to help to make it happen for you. God is waiting for you to make it happen. As we live this morning, exercise dominion. You know, I was I did some work for some lady. And you know, time came for her to pay me. Just last week. She was twisting me, oh you didn't should have done this. Something which was not in the contract. Say so you should have done this. Some white lady. Uh, I to say, but this was not in his thing. And she meant to make transfer. So, I was really disturbed. I told my wife, and my wife was also disturbed. Said, because I reduced the price so much. And uh, I needed my money. Somebody said, Pastor needed his money. For real. <laughs> so, I was, I was really disturbed. So I said, this is late. Now I cannot even. But then, all of a sudden, I was studying the Bible. Then the, I heard a voice saying to me, your problem is you are not exercising your 
authority. And the Spirit of God spoke to me that the lady is behaving like that is because there's a power behind her. She's not just herself. I know what she had gone through, she, through divorce, through I knew the problem she was going through, but somehow I, was, I look at it in the surface. So when it did dawn on me that I should use my authority, I, I was in the office, then I, 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 I spoke silent. I didn't even speak loud because people were around. I, I spoke silent. I said, in the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit behind this woman. That is holding my money. She must release my money now. In the name of Jesus. Ah. If it didn't take more than two hours, I saw the, the, the message of transfer. Not more. Barely one hour. I saw the message in the WhatsApp. Transferred. I said, Oh, this thing works. Amen. Amen. Praise the of Jesus. Last week, yesterday, we came from our village. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, my, my wife was doing some gardening, putting some grass for her compound. She loves the village there. And we are deep in the village, no village ahead. The next thing is water. For real. So she planted, planted our grass and there was no rain. And I began to think ah. she and rain splashes a bit and disappeared. Next to you've been having rain but that place there was no rain. Honestly, near the water. And uh, I was disturbed. Then I, I went and I, I was reminded of what happened. Then I spoke. I said, in the name of Jesus, <inaudible> even if rain would not be there, be, for the sake of my grass, <inaudible> for the sake of my wife, <inaudible> let there be rain. <inaudible> in the night, it rained heavily. <inaudible> in the morning, I told her, <inaudible> About the rain, I said it was thundering. He said, you mean it rained? I said, you are blessed. You, you can sleep and don't know that it was raining. Praise of Jesus. From today, I gave you this testimony. To start using your authority. Have you heard that? Mm -hmm. Me, I'm using mine. Praise of make declaration. Even if it doesn't feel like when I was declaring that rain should come, it had cleared and even told her stars have started coming. I said, then I said it will rain. So there is power of dominion. Is that clear? The power of the Holy Spirit is not for falling down only or speaking tongues. Is that clear? You must use it to have dominion on the earth, not in heaven. The next dimension of power, I think I will stop there, is the power uh, to perform. Power to make decision, power to reason things out, power to operate, power to perform even in your workplace. They God may teach. They may called us to have power of creativity. Mm. There's a power inherent in us. God is a creator, not so. So we are co-creators with him. So if you work in a place, you must be the best of the best in that workplace. Uh, if you're a business person, a politician, excel everybody. And the, 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 the rule of the game, you should be ten times better than your comrades. Eh? Because the Bible says, Daniel, when they tested Daniel and his colleagues, 
was ten times better than all the wise men. In Babylon. May that grace rest upon you. Power to perform. Power for production and delivery of services. If you are the nurse, be the best nurse. If you are the nurse or the doctor, be the best in that place. Somebody say, I receive power to perform. I can't hear you. Say, now I have him. I manifest performance. Ay, 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 ay. Hey. The last power I have jumped. The power, another dimension of power is power in our weakness. In first, second Corinthians, I think. 12, 9. Can you put that as I conclude with that? Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. What does it say? And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest where upon. Ente kamuni, winyo yaiba, rum, rumigiri, piente ho, piente ho na, beda tek mechel, ame goro tiye. Yes, there is power that is manifest in our wounds in our skulls, in the pain we go through. God manifests, there's another dimension of power that comes when you go through pain. I have gone through the challenge of my life. But every time I've gone through this challenge of life, I have come out more stronger and better. May I submit to you all this morning that there's, it doesn't matter what you're going through. You could be going through grief. You lost somebody. Rejection. You've lost a job. People have misunderstood you. People have rejected you. They laughed at you. They have, you've been betrayed. Has anybody been betrayed here? Can I see you by hand? Has anybody taken advantage of you? Have you ever felt lonely? And people misunderstood you? Let me tell you. God is telling you. In all those challenges of life, God's power is made manifest. Amen. We went through challenge of life. But God will manifest his power in our midst. We need to enjoy that dimension of power. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Clap your hand for Jesus. Baptism with Paul, yes.